Friends, welcome back to the Destination Baby and Kids YouTube channel. I am Gina, I am your host here today, and I'm super excited to go over some Stoka high chairs with you. So what we've got in front of us right now is going to be two chairs designed by the same person, but with a huge gap in between the design period. What will be consistent throughout both of these products is that they are going to work from six months all the way through to adulthood. One will hold 242 pounds. The other one will hold 330 pounds. So these work, uh, like I said, from a six month old all the way through to adulthood. The other thing that's really interesting about these chairs is they're designed by a man named Peter Opsvik. Both of these chairs have won quite a number of design awards. This Nomi high chair uh, is a recent acquisition from Stoka. Uh, the Trip Trap has been around way longer. This one was designed in the 70s. This one was designed in the mid 2000s. So we'll get into sort of the differences between the two um, and uh, similarities and things that make them both great and differences which may push you in one direction or the other. So cool thing about either one of these is that they're almost identical in price. I, I do think they are identical in price. So Nomi, as you see set up here with the chair and the baby set is going to run you $2.99. And the Trip Trap, which is what you see here with the chair and the baby set will also run you $2.99. Now, typically people buy these things in matching colors. I'm showing them here in two separate colors just so that the consumer can understand that they are separate pieces for my store. Um, but Generally speaking, we sell these in matching colors. And Trip Trap by far has the most colors of any uh, wood high chair on the market. Um, you have so many awesome fun choices, also sophisticated choices, so really a broad variety here. The tray for this guy, which is sold separately, um, or you can buy it as a complete, we'll get to that in a minute, comes in either black or white, uh, so that won't necessarily match every single piece, but then they also have a cushion as well. This one has all the same pieces as well. So we've got just the basic setup right now for a six month old plus, but we could add a tray additionally and the cushion set here and it would equal out to be the same price. Completes on either of these are going to be $3.99. Now, what's the big difference then? Uh, first, as you can see, they're both gonna be short, low to the ground is sort of how they look. But if we see next to a table, you'll see that it's table height. So if we push this up to a dining room table, if we push this guy up to a dining room table, they're going to slide directly up to the table. Why does this matter? This matters because of sort of the design of the chair is meant to promote the correct seating position for feeding your child. And so you might say to yourself, what are you even talking about? Kids will eat when they're hungry. That's true, but there is actually proper seating alignment and positioning for children that will enable them to eat in the safest and easiest possible way. So what does that look like? When we have a child sitting in either one of these seats, they're going to be sitting quite upright, which is something that we want. We want them to be able to be in an upright seated position definitely not reclined and not slumped. So if your child is slumped and unable to sit upright on their own, um, it might not be that they're ready necessarily to start eating uh, solids in a high chair or in a chair like that. Um, they need to have that correct seating position. We definitely don't want them reclined. The tongue will actually go further back in the mouth and it can become a safety issue. So these chairs promote sitting very, very upright having good back support, having the child positioned sort of toward the front of the chair with their legs breaking over the edge at a 90 degree angle, and then their feet coming down and being able to push off of their toes. So this enables them to sort of move forward, have their hands to grasp at things and put things in their mouth, sort of seated in a more forward uh, angle or position. Both of these chairs are going to let you do that. Um, Trip Trap has a ton of adjustments for the foot and the bum component. All of these notches in the side of the seat are different areas where this can slide into. Now, here's a key design difference between these two products. If you look on the side of the Trip Trap, you'll notice that there are screws to tighten and loosen. Any adjustments that we wanna make to the seating or the footrest here is going to come 
with using an Allen wrench. So you have to have the dexterity and the wherewithal to be able to understand to do that when you wanna make the adjustments here. When you wanna make the adjustments on this guy, on the bottom of the chair, there are knobs that you turn and when you loosen components and tighten components, that's gonna enable you to scoot pieces up and down. So um, from a usability standpoint and ease of use standpoint, no question the no me for me uh, wins because there's no tools involved with dealing with it, which I definitely like. Um, as you can see, they would both have multiple positions for the feet, which is great because as children get bigger, we want to be able to adjust that down. And then eventually um, this one, the seat component changes out, these pieces come off and this comes up for a seat for an adult. Here, uh, the seat itself on this will be an adult seat. So both of these guys um, will work. Hi Frankie. Both of these will work for kids, like I said, from six months up through adulthood. The biggest difference is gonna be this one is gonna hold the 242 pounds, whereas this one is going to hold 330 pounds. So you'll be able to put a bigger person on this one. They're both gonna have the option, like I said, to use the tray, but based on the body positioning and sort of um, the way that the kids would be eating, you could use them directly with your table, you know, a placemat, whatever you wanna do. But if you did wanna do a tray on either one, Tray is available. The tray will operate identically on either one of these products. So they snap on um, like that. And then the removal is not a typical scoot on, scoot off like we're used to with a big plastic high chair. The removal for this guy is a little notch underneath that you press toward yourself and then it just lifts up. So it's not difficult, but it is something that you would get used to. The up and down uh, tray coming more over the head reminds me sort of of the high chair situations you have with the old time wooden high chairs. Um, maybe not as practical as a sliding tray, but certainly a nice feature. And then both of these chairs, like I said, this one, it would be available. I just don't have it yet because it's such a new product for me. Both of these chairs have what's called a newborn uh, piece that you can make work with a baby. And in order to do that, you actually, in both of these, you'd have to remove different pieces. Candidly, I have not done it there yet. Um, so it's not a hard thing to do, I'm sure, because that chair was actually pretty easy to put together. But it is going to be steps, like you see here, work. A newborn piece you can use on the chair from birth. And both of these have an option for a piece like this, which holds the baby very flat. This one has an adjustment down. I have not played with this one, seen it in person, so I can't speak to that. But they both would work from newborn up to 20 pounds. Both of these pieces would be sold separately on either one of these for $149. Um, we're still getting all the finalized pricing on this. Again, nothing set in stone, but that is what I know for now. And if you're looking for fun colors, what I would say is that this Staka Trip Trap is gonna have way more color options than what you get here. You do get some nice, uh, sophisticated two-tone colors here. Now, biggest benefit of going with Nomi over Trip Trap is gonna be, like I said, it'll hold a larger child, but the other great feature is gonna be the cleanability of the product. So, one of the biggest things that I hear as a criticism of this guy is gonna be that food can get caught and stuck on various places and in the little crevices on it and dry and then it becomes difficult to clean. I've nannied for years and that's definitely been the case. On this one, it's all super flat plastic surfaces. So the cleanability of this is going to be incredibly easy. Like I said, you can get cushions for either one of these. You must love your child a lot to put in a cushion to be softer. Um, no, I, for me, it's one more thing to clean, but it is definitely nice and it's definitely softer. It makes the chairs look uh, more attractive, but, and available for both. So um, all in all, both of these are awesome choices. It's just if you prefer something that's more classic, tried, tested, and true with a 242 pound weight limit, or if you like the more uh, fresh, 
new redesign approach that you see here. Also, this one has wheels on the back. When we take the guards off, both of these have tip guards on them so kids don't tip backward by pushing their feet. They're eventually removable, but this one does have wheels. You can like wheel it around. Anyway, kind of interesting. Um, I like the redesign on this quite a bit. I would appreciate the fresh new approach. So for me, I would probably pick Nomi. And like I said, because they're identically priced, it's really just whatever you're into. But both are awesome choices and excited for these offerings from Stoka. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have questions about either one of these products, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer. And uh, like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I would love to show you other baby products. Please feel free to check out my other high chair videos. And thank you so much for stopping by and watching. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.